What's going on guys? This is me Asin. So we just got some new uh, Crystal Beast cards. <laughs> the Advanced Crystal Beast, so the Dark Monsters. Well, not really the Dark... I mean, they kind of become dark when you have the Field Spell. So the dark versions of the Crystal Beast Monsters that the corrupt version of Jesse Anderson played in the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX anime. As well as a new Elemental Hero slash... Neo Spatian support. So before this video starts, make sure you like and subscribe. Check me out on Twitch and Instagram. And also huge shout outs to N Neshi, Nick, for uh, just being the crystal god. And now let's get right into it. So the first card, of course, is E N Shuffle. I guess E is for Elemental Hero and N is for uh, Neos or Neo Spatian. So normal spell card, you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn. So even if the activation gets negated, you still can't use another one. So shuffle one Elemental Hero or Neo Spatian Monster you control into the deck. And if you do special summon one Elemental Hero or Neo Spatian Monster with a different name from your deck, not too bad because that would allow you to summon Shadow Mist from the deck and then get your uh, mass change. So in a way, I kind of like that, but at the same time, you do go neg one, so it's not like super broken. Anyways, you can banish this card from the grave, shuffle one Elemental Hero Monster and one Neo Spatian Monster or one Neos from your grave into the deck, then draw one card. This would have been broken if instead of and it was an or. That, that would have made like the card an instant one or three of in the deck. But because of the fact that it's an end and you don't really want to play Neo Spatian cards in Elemental Hero, I don't think this effect will ever come up, so only the first effect can come up. And it's not that great, especially since it's once per turn. So my verdict is that this card is kind of like a 5 out of 10 because it's a little situational and again, it's an inherent neg one. Anyways, now let's get into the Advanced Crystal Beast. So the first one is Advanced Crystal Beast Ruby Carbon Cool. So independent of their effects, remember that they are Crystal Beast monsters, which means that uh, they kind of make Rainbow Dragon way easier to summon because now you have like freaking 15 names or something like that. You have the original Crystal Beast and now you have these kind of uh, Crystal Beast monsters. So uh, same stats as the regular Ruby Carbon Cool. But uh, you have to control advanced dark on the field, otherwise this card will always go to the graveyard. But I think this is a continuous effect as a monster on the field. So in the spell and trap zone, I don't think it necessarily gets sent. And uh, yeah, it's, it says send, not destroy, so unfortunate. Anyways, you can only use the third effect of this card's demons per turn. So the f this effect is uh, common to every single advanced crystal beast card. If this face-up card is destroyed in a monster zone, you can place this face-up card in your spell and trap zone as a continuous spell instead of sending it to the grave. Again, even this effect is common to every single Crystal Beast monster. Now, this is the unique effect of the advanced Crystal Beast monsters. If this card is treated as a continuous spell, you can special summon it, then you can special summon as many advanced Crystal Beast monster cards from your spell and trap zone as possible. I'll take that, I'll definitely take that any day of the week, but it is once per turn, so it kind of uh, destroys a little bit of the insane combo potential that this would have had. And again, the fact that you have to control advanced dark is like a little neg because do you, are you really trying to play advanced dark in actual regular Crystal Beast? It's really not like you could say that pure advanced Crystal Beast was a deck. You're obviously trying to mix it with a regular Crystal Beast. So, I don't, I don't know, man. I, it's, it's obviously good because Ruby Carbon Cool has always been known to be like one of the better ones. As well as Sapphire Pegasus obviously being the best one. But, um, yeah, no, it, it's not bad because it's actually better than the regular Ruby Carbon Cool. Because the regular Ruby Carbon Cool is only like when it's special summoned, then you can summon as many Crystal Beasts. But this one actually special summons itself. So, in a way, it's actually very proactive, and I really like that. So, I'll... It, it, it's not too bad. I'm, I'll am i give it, like, a whatever. Like, a 7.5 out of 10. Anyways, this is where we get into the <laughs> kind of sketchy cards, <laughs> not gonna lie. So, Amethyst Cat. I even in the anime, these cards sucked. So, whatever. This is always the same. If this card... Uh, no, sorry. Your advanced Crystal Beast monsters can attack directly, but when they do using this effect, the battle damage inflicted to your opponent is halved. Uh, complete trash, not gonna lie. Uh, it's not like it was an Xyz monster that you can make Zeus on, so <laughs> this is like way worse than Borbo. Now we have the Emerald Tortoise. Once per turn, quick effect, you can target one face of monster on the field, change its battle position. I'm just like, obviously this is like realistic with like what the card should have done originally, but this is just so underwhelming to print in 2022. I just look at these cards and I'm like, nobody's wanna, nobody's gonna wanna play them. It's like back to square one, where every single Crystal Beast monster sucks so much that you only get to play like two of them. <laughs> and if you're playing like a third one, it's only because of the name. And that's my big issue with this, but um, yeah, th this effect is absolute trash. It would have been nice if the quick effect was like a negation effect, that would have been pretty cool. And that would have been modern as well, but... Changing the battle position of something. Quick effect. Ooh, oh my god, I'm so scared. Oh no, I can't attack you. <laughs> oh my god, absolutely pathetic. Anyways, uh, Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger. 
All advanced crystal beast monsters you control gain 400 attack and defense. Also, all face up monsters your opponent control lose 400 attack and defense. So clearly, this effect is better than the original Topaz Tiger, but uh, nobody cares because even the original Topaz Tiger sucked so much that, oh my god. Oh, it's, it's, it's good toilet paper, at least. All right, the next card is Amber Mammoth. <laughs> Once per turn, when your opponent activates a card effect that targets an Advanced Crystal Beast card or cards and or Advanced uh, Dark you control, quick effect, you can negate the activation. Not too bad. It would have been nice if it was negate the activation and destroy, but uh, whatever. At least you don't have to, like, tribute it to use that, that effect. So I'm not going to complain too much. And the rest is... Oh, no, actually, sorry, it has another effect. Once per turn, when your Advanced Crystal Beast monster you control is targeted for an attack, you can negate that attack. That, 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 that's it. <laughs> that's all the card does, and it takes up your normal summon. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. Alright, the next one, uh, Cobalt Eagle. You can send this card from your hand or field to the grave, add one Advanced Dark from your deck to your hand. Uh, that's actually, at least I'm not, you know, at least I can say that this is a... Uh, a relatively modern-esque effect, but, uh, bruh, you're searching, like, a field spell Garnet. <laughs> it, it, it does nothing. Like, it's actual garbage. The only thing that you're really doing at Advanced Dark is either crashing your monsters going second, so you keep foolishing for monsters, or just activate on the field so your monsters don't kill themselves. That's it, that's all. I can't really think of, like, anything else. Anyways, once per turn, you can target one Advanced Crystal Beast card you control. Interesting. Either return it to the hand or place it on the top of the deck. Ah, yes, I really want to go neg one by uh, <laughs> destroying my own card advice. What, bro, what the f What kind of synergy? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna stack my Sapphire Pegasus so my upstart can actually draw it. Bro, and it, it takes up your normal summon as well. It would have been nice if this effect was, like, in the graveyard. You can do that, but no, of course not. You can't always ask for everything. All right, it's, it's fine because I was expecting them to suck anyways. Now, this is where we get into the actual good card. The card that people actually know... Sapphire Pegasus, Advanced Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus. So again, the best stats and the best effect. If this card is summoned, just summoned. That's it, that's all. So normal summoned, special summoned, but also flip summoned. Not a lot of cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! actually have that wording because a lot of the time you always see cards that are normal, that, that, you know, only get their effects on normal or special. But actually, I can actually think of Satellar Knight the Deneb, which functions like that. So back in the days, you know, Book of Mooning your own Deneb, could be actually pretty good in Simplified Game State because next turn you would just flip it and then, you know, get your search for a Altair or something like that. I could be wrong, but uh, whatever. Dude, I didn't play competitively back in the days. I played Cyber Dragons for fun. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you can place one of your Advanced Crystal Beast monsters that is banished in your hand, deck, or graveyard face up in your spell and trap zone as a continuous spell. Pretty darn fantastic. That's obviously a great effect because you can place your Ruby Carbon Cool right away. And then you can summon the Ruby Carbon Cool right away and summon as many Crystal Beasts that you want. And again, they are Crystal Beast monsters, so a pretty good synergy with... Uh, I'm trying to read the, the freaking spell card. The, the spell cards for Crystal Beast are pretty nice. Crystal Promise is a good card. Crystal Bond is a good card. Uh, Crystal Blessing is, like, not great, but it's not bad. So I guess it does make the Cobalt Eagle not too bad because it allows you to get it back from the graveyard into the Spell and Trap Zone so you can summon it. And it is a level 4 monster, so you can make Baguska, which is a very good uh, Floodgate monster that you can summon in today's metagame. And I guess if you have a lot of cards in your Spell and Trap Zone, you could use Rare Value. Crystal Abundance kind of sucks. Crystal Beacon is like... Not bad, actually. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. And then uh, Crystal Protection, the newer card, pretty good. It, the rest of the cards are <laughs> a little sussy. I mean, there's one Trap card that is like actually extremely good. I really, really, really like that, and I know that uh, Neshi loves it, and it's a uh, Crystal Conclave. And I think this is probably the best version of Crystal Beast. It's ba basically like a control build with, like, Crystal Conclave, and uh, I don't know if you're trying to play Mech Knights, because a single Sapphire Pegasus kind of gets you, like, you know, your two columns, so you can, you know, do stuff, and, um, and yeah, so, I don't, I don't know, I, I don't even know what I'm saying. But yeah, uh, so, again, just to sum it all up, this card, pretty nice, I'll take it, uh, then the Ruby Carbon Cool, pretty good. This card isn't bad, because at least it kind of does something, but this is, like, absolute, like, no, this is, like, very bad, and these cards are, like, absolute dog shit, and, like, <laughs> just actually garbage. I really can't find, like, anything, but I, I'm not, I can't sugarcoat this. Like, seriously, I'm not, I can't find words to, like, explain this in, like, the most posi positive way possible. They're, they're just bad end of discussion, so... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. Honestly, that was a quick one. Let me know what you think about this card, uh, these cards in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.